Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a Sunday reset, a little bit of a vlog, kind of a spend the morning slash day with me video. So I did a little bit of house cleaning. I got a new shelf for my home office that I wanted to set up. I did a little bit of organizing and decorating. I had some new pajamas from Amazon that I wanted to try on and I pretty much just hung out during the day with you guys and took you along with me. So I kind of really needed to get organized. I got myself a couple of new things to put into the office to help me stay organized for the rest of the year. I really want to start getting a little bit more strict with like my calendars and keeping track of things. And I just felt like I needed to just like take a day to get really organized and clean up the house and all of that kind of stuff. So if you guys are in the mood to spend the day with me doing that kind of stuff. Oh, also I reviewed a little bit my Smeg tea kettle <laughs> as well. So if you guys are in the mood for this kind of video, then stay tuned. And if you are new here, I would love if you would consider subscribing on this channel. We do talk a lot about organization, home decor, minimalism, a little bit of fashion, self-care, skincare, sometimes makeup, um, pretty much whatever brings me happiness. I like to bring to you guys. If you would like, you can also feel free to head over and follow me on Instagram as well. That is the best place to get a hold of me. That is the best place to communicate with me. And without too much further ado, you guys, let's get started in today's video. I just got these new coasters as well, and I'm not sure which ones I want to keep um, between these two. These ones are super beautiful. They're like this really pretty beige kind of stone coaster. They don't have any feet on the bottom though, so I don't really know, I guess, what the point is. You have to be careful still putting them down on glass or anything, but they're so pretty. And they also match my tea kettle. They're just really aesthetically pleasing. I love them. They were about $30 Canadian from Amazon. So they're kind of expensive, um, but I really like them, but I can't decide if I want those ones or these ones. These ones are also pretty nice. They are more of a gray marble. So that's the gray marble ones. And these ones actually have um, cork on the bottom, which is really nice for actually putting them down on things. You don't have to worry about scratching your furniture, which is the whole point. And then here's these ones, which also look really beautiful, right? So I can't decide. I'll let you guys help me decide which of those I should keep. Yeah, to be honest, I'm totally torn because <laughs> I like both of them. Um, yeah, I like both of them. And these ones, I don't think I can return. I think I'm outside the return window, but they're beautiful. You know, they're both beautiful. So I think for now, I'm really not sure what to do. But anyways, yeah, you guys let me know what you think, which coasters you like best, which ones you would keep. By the way, you guys, I've been meaning to do a review on this Smeg tea kettle, and I haven't done it yet because... Honestly, I just, I haven't felt, I haven't felt motivated to do a full review of the Smeg kettle, but I thought I would just share with you guys a few quick thoughts about it in today's video, um, cause it is kind of an expensive item. And a lot of people were asking me over on Instagram when I shared pictures of it, they wanted to know my thoughts on it. Was it worth it? Um, how do I like it? All of that kind of stuff. Basically you guys, I'm not going to lie. I fell for the beautiful aesthetic of it when I've seen it in Pinterest photos and on Instagram. Instagram, by the way, is a terrible thing to be on if you're trying to save money because I probably never would have purchased this kettle. Like I never even would have found out about this kettle were it not for Instagram because I don't know how else I would have seen it. Maybe in a Best Buy or something. But um, I bought it solely for aesthetics. I already had a tea kettle. Um, my other tea kettle is still down here, by the way. This is the other kettle that I had before. It's a stainless steel and plastic uh, from Walmart. It's by the brand Oster. Very in inexpensive. It was 30, 25 to 30 Canadian dollars. The Smeg, on the other hand, is about 220 Canadian dollars. Honestly, comparing them side by side, there is literally no advantage to the Smeg other than it's cute. It actually, I think, has some downfalls compared to my Walmart one. Um, and I'll just name them for you really quickly what I think they are. Number one, the water thing that shows you like how much water it holds in this one is on the side. So it's kind of hard to see. Like you have to really get up in there and look and see. The other thing that I will say is these buttons, this one here, is quite sturdy. When it goes down, it just goes down. When it comes up, it comes up. This one here is a little flimsy. You know, it just, I don't know. And it's very small, has this tiny little stick, this tiny little ball. I feel like if you hit it hard enough, it'll break. <laughs> I'm sure it won't, but I feel like if you hit it hard enough, it would break. Whereas this one's like, I don't know, I just feel like I can't break it. 
you know? <laughs> um, the other thing I would say is that to open the top, this one here has this little mechanism. You push it, it opens. You push it, it opens. The Smeg one, sometimes it doesn't open. Sometimes I have to push it, sometimes it does. But sometimes it doesn't, see that? I have to push it, you know what I mean? So for being the expensive kettle that it is, it should be the best darn kettle in the world. It should be the greatest kettle. It should be the most functional. It should heat up the water the fastest. It should be the most practical, the most user-friendly. And it really isn't. There's a couple of things that I think like, especially the opening, like sometimes it opens just fine. Other times I have to push it a couple times. Oh sure, now it's gonna do it every time. But I think you guys get the point. Um, the other thing is in terms of boiling water, I do think it is slightly faster at boiling water than my other one, but not enough to make it cost what it does. So I still have this kettle and I was going to return the smeg. Actually, I had it all packed up and I was thinking, you know what? I don't know if it's really worth it. I'm going to return it. Um, but honestly, after putting it back in the box and then just bringing my old one out after a few days, I missed seeing it on my counter. And so it's one of those things that I think is... I mean, obviously it's functional, it's useful. I use it every single day, multiple times a day. I drink coffee in the morning, we drink tea in the evening. When my mom comes over for coffee, she actually drinks tea. So a tea kettle is something I actually need. But, um, so it's not like I'm not using it. It's not like it's useless, but it is pretty expensive for what it is, but I mostly have it just for aesthetics, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think it's really beautiful and it just kind of adds to my morning routine it makes my morning routine just that much more special in the morning because it's beautiful um, aside from the fact that sometimes i get annoyed with the the little top thing the other thing i will say is that it's very heavy this one here is quite lightweight even if you get water in it it's pretty lightweight this one here is quite heavy oh it's like you really like you gotta have some good strong shoulders to use this one um yeah but other than that you guys i really can't complain about it too much <laughs> So yeah, if you want to know the answer to the question, is it worth it? Probably not, but it's, if it's worth it to you to have the aesthetic and to have the beautiful like vintage style 50s inspired with like the buttery color and the pretty lettering, then, then it is worth it. So it's totally up to you guys. It's probably one of those purchases that, I mean, it's like buying a, it's like buying a Mercedes, you know, a Honda will do just fine, but some people want the Mercedes, just how it is, except the Mercedes runs better than the Smeg. <laughs> I really like listening to jazz music while I clean my house. I highly recommend it. Or you can just listen to a video like today's video because I'm going to have nice music, but just wanted to show you guys. This is my favorite kind of thing. I just find random like jazz music to play while I clean the house or do anything really. Set up furniture, organize, declutter. It just like is so nice and peaceful and it's a vibe and I just love it. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do, you guys, is the dishes. I don't have a whole ton of them in the sink, but I just wanna get them quickly cleaned up, and then I'm gonna go around and clean off all of the other surfaces. off the countertops today I'm going to be using my Lysol spray usually I like to use my vinegar and water because that's a really good basic cleaner it gets everything nice and shiny and it's a good like everyday cleaner but a couple times a week when I want to really give things a deep clean and make sure that everything is going to be a little bit more disinfected I like to go in with my Lysol I'm also going to refill this dish soap dispenser. I really love these dish soap dispensers because they are a lot prettier than having the bottle of dish soap displayed out on the counter. If you guys are curious where I got these, I found them at Amazon and I will try to remember to link them down below for you if you are curious. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean off the kitchen table which is made of tempered glass and to do this I do like to use my vinegar and water because literally everything else I use leaves streaks and vinegar and water does not. 
So I'm kind of going around just doing like random cleaning whatever needs to be done on the main floor before I go upstairs and the main entryway closet really needed to just be quickly swept up. It tends to be a collecting ground for things like my daughter's volleyball equipment, backpacks, lunch kits, whatever. Um, so I really just needed to give the space a quick once over. Now that the main entryway closet is done, I'm going to go ahead and clean off my entryway table. Now this table is not really technically right in the entryway. It's kind of almost like in a place where the console would be under the TV, but I don't really have a better place to put it. And until I move into a new place, I'm probably not going to have an ideal spot for it, but I really wanted an entryway table. I just love the look of them. I like being able to decorate them. And I absolutely love this one that I found on Amazon. It's kind of traditional, but it's also very clean cut. And I like that it's white and I love the drawers on it it's really great space for things like my cat's leash and her collar and we can also keep board games and stuff like that in there as well and this was just the perfect spot to be able to decorate with some of my home goods like my little fall decor my pumpkin my vase um, my candles things like that so i've just been really really enjoying this and if you guys like i will also link to the best of my ability everything on this table down in the description box now I'm just going to go ahead and quickly give the coffee table a wipe. This seems to become the most fingerprint laden, dust, cat hair, food, crumb, accumulating piece of furniture in my entire house. <laughs> That thing's heavy so i just got a bookshelf and i think these are pajamas i ordered some silk pajamas or satin pajamas from amazon to try so not sure how those are going to work out but we'll try them out and the bookshelf i will set this up after i'm done cleaning and i will take you guys along with me to set up the office um yeah so Let's finish cleaning and then I'll worry about the bookshelf after. My cat is of course the box inspector extraordinaire. Every time there's a box, she will not be far behind. <laughs> All right, and the bedroom is pretty clean, but I'm just going to, since I'm cleaning anyway, I'm just gonna do a quick once over on the surfaces. I actually cleaned the gold mirror the other day. By the way, you guys, so I tried hanging the gold mirror up on the wall because I thought that would look so much nicer, just having about like four or five inches between the top of the mirror and the dresser. Guess what? You know where my studs are? My studs are, there is one right here. I marked it. There's one here and there's one here. So that means if I hang up the mirror, it has to be off to this side by about like three quarters of a foot or it has to be over to the other side. And if I do that, then the mirror is going, or the dresser is gonna be completely off center. So I just decided to leave it as is for now. I was looking on Pinterest and actually a lot of the photos on Pinterest of like bedroom decor, home entryway tables, the mirrors are just leaning on the item. But I really wish that the stud was centered so I could hang it because um, I feel like it's really heavy on the dresser. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the dresser kind of almost wants to bow in a little bit in the middle. Like it's slightly slanted toward the middle, which is kind of annoying. So yeah, by the way, do you guys like how I decided to decorate the top of the dresser? I just went super simple. I have a vase of flowers, kind of like my, my flowers. I wouldn't mind replacing this with sort of a contemporary stone um, vase, some sort of like a rustic ivory colored stone vase and then something coming out the top. I'm not sure what, but for now I just went with my flowers um, because I love flowers. And then I got this gray marble tray from Amazon. I have a diptyque candle, two perfumes, just for a little bit of kind of visual interest. And also I had a beige stone tray and I actually like the look of the marble, the gray marble stone tray better. I feel like it just balances things out a little bit so it's not super, super warm in here because I kind of like that I have a little bit of everything. Like the walls are a slightly cool tone. The bedding is a little bit warmer, kind of just... I don't know, it complements each other a little bit. Then I have the gold mirror, of course. And then over here, I just have this little tray, this little stone tray I got from Amazon. I just put a couple pieces of jewelry out on it. I have a lot more, like not a lot, but I have more jewelry in this. I actually put it away in the drawer. 
I need to get an actual organizer, like an actual jewelry box to put it in because I don't necessarily want all my jewelry out on the dresser all the time. These two pieces are from H&M Home. H&M Home candle holder, H&M Home tall candle, and H&M Home pillar candle. And I just love the way that those look together. I think that they're really, really nice and complement each other. I just want to show you quickly on the bedside table. I shared this over on my Instagram, but I love this little journal. Um, I originally got this journal because I thought that it was a cute book and that it would be just a nice kind of a coffee table book. I didn't realize it was actually as functional as it is, but what I really like about it, it's designed for people who are not like good at journaling or who don't make the time to journal because it makes it very, very easy. So it has um, multiple days, obviously. And in the, in the top, it has like the sun to show you that this is what you write in the morning. And then this is what you put at night. There's a little moon. And at the top, it has a different quote for each day, which is kind of nice. And then it has just a bullet point kind of journaling approach, which makes it really easy. And it literally takes five minutes, which is kind of nice. Um, so it has, I am grateful for, you can write down three things you're grateful for, what would make today great. So things that you want to accomplish or things that would make today, you know, great, I guess, which is interesting because I've never asked myself that question in the morning. I've never asked myself what would make today great. I've always asked my, I've always, I actually don't ask myself anything. I just make a to-do list, <laughs> but it's kind of nice looking at it from the point of view of what would make today great. For example, you could say like, what would make today great for me personally today was if my shelf showed up for the office and it was perfect and it looked really good and you know, all the de decor went really nicely on it and stuff. Um, also if I would go on the treadmill for 45 minutes, that would make today great. And I can't remember what the other thing was. And then your affirmation. So you can say like, I am healthy. I'm comfortable in my own skin. I'm an abundant creator. You can put whatever you want as a daily affirmation. And then at the end of the day, you fill in your highlights of the day. So focusing on the positives of the day and also like, what did I learn? And I actually really love this because it's really important to start your day and end your day in gratitude and on a positive note, start your day on a positive note, end your day on a positive note. And this little book actually helps you do that, especially if you're like me and you kind of start journaling somewhere in a random notebook and then it kind of falls off, it like peters off. This actually keeps me kind of accountable because I see it every day. I actually really enjoy using it. It's super cute, it's super aesthetic. Um, yeah, and it just literally takes five minutes, which is why it's called the five minute journal. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a good journal, I definitely do recommend that. Sorry, you guys, I didn't have my microphone plugged in for that whole last few minutes. Hopefully the audio wasn't too bad. I'm not actually going to take everything off of the dresser to clean. I'm just going to clean kind of around it because it wasn't that long ago that I actually gave the top of the dresser a complete once over. Also, you guys, I always keep water on the side of the bedside, bedside table, as I told you guys before, and I just wanted to show you these cups. These are so cute. They're literally the most aesthetic cups I've ever seen. Um, I got them from Amazon. If you like, I will link them down below. I just love them. They're like this fluted, ribbed. I mean, look how pretty this is, you guys. You don't get a prettier glass than that. It like it looks like a vase almost and you can drink iced coffee from these you can just drink water from these and I got them in a set of four and they did come with straws so yeah super aesthetic and I love it it's like the perfect addition to my bedside table and I also found this at Shoppers Drug Mart this super cute little boucle clip is this not the cutest clip <laughs> and it actually is really good like it's the perfect um, like shape for my hair for my head like it holds just the right amount of hair for me so I love that and I just thought it looked really cute sitting here in this bowl All right, now on to the bathroom, which I feel like is always in need of a clean. Like it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. It doesn't matter how clean the rest of the house is. I feel like the bathroom is always in need of a clean. Um, 
I did do the toilet not very long ago, like just a couple days ago, and I did do the tub just a couple days ago, but one thing that I do like to do is I always like to wipe down the vanity and the mirrors once a day because as you can see, there is water spots on, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's water spots on the mirror. Um, I just feel like the mirror always gets dirty and obviously it's the bathroom. It's, you know, you're brushing your teeth and people are washing their hands and it's just, I feel like it's that area that needs a little extra TLC. My skincare tray is, um, kind of looking a little messy. I have a sample here that I've been trying from Caudalie. This is their premier, um, La Creme, the eye cream. And yes, yeah, so I've been trying that out. So that's here and I'm trying out this new, um, what do you call it? This new moisturizer from Summer Fridays. I've been really enjoying that. And I also just got the Caudalie totally, uh, Vena Perfect Radiance Serum, which is supposed to be really, really good for hyperpigmentation, helping prevent dark spots and helping to actually correct dark spots, melasma, redness, um, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, stuff like that. So I'm really, really liking that. And then I'm currently using my Florisys, um cleansing oil, which was sent to me for free by the company. And you can see how much I've used I, I really actually enjoy it. Like I'm putting a pretty good dent in that bottle. I'm, I'm really liking it. So I don't know if I'll purchase it again because it is a little bit expensive, but I'm really grateful that they sent it to me and I will use it. Um, yeah, so I feel like this area always needs. And then this morning I broke out the Elta MD sunscreen because I wanted to try it again, even though it is chemical sunscreen. And when chemical sunscreen gets near my eyes, it burns like the Dickens. I just was really careful not to put it near my eyes. And honestly, it's been fine. It's been fine today. So I will probably just put this away, honestly, in here. I will put this away in here because I don't need to have it out. And by the way, I'm so proud of myself for how clean my linen closet has stayed, how clean and organized since the last time I did a clean with me video. It's actually pretty organized. I have like a couple little, um, I have a couple little samples that were sent to me from Sephora with some purchases and stuff. Um, but yeah, so otherwise, otherwise I'm pretty happy with, uh, with how clean my linen closet has stayed. So go me. To clean the bathroom, I'm gonna go ahead with my Lysol, of course, to sort of disinfect the surfaces for the most part, but on the mirror, I still do like to stick to my good old vinegar and water because like I say, it gets a streak-free shine. Like, it's better than Windex. It's much better for you. It doesn't smell like harsh chemicals, and I just love the way that it cleans. So I've been using vinegar and water as like a staple household cleaner in my home for a long time. If you guys are OG channel watchers, you'll know that at one point that was all I had in the house. Vinegar and water continues to be probably my favorite thing to get that like beautiful shine in the bathroom. Yeah, so at least now it's all nice and clean in here. Um, definitely clean. One thing I really don't like about my bathroom, my bathroom in general, is I do not like this um, countertop. I'm grateful for it though, because especially with like the price of housing and everything right now in the world, but in Canada especially, I'm so grateful to be in the place that I'm in. So I try not to ever, I have like a new lease on how things are. Like whenever I think about something in my house that I don't like, I try to remind myself how blessed I am to have the place that I have and to have it at the price that I have it because I've been here for a few years before everything kind of went crazy. And um, yeah, and I just try to remind myself like, I'm very lucky to have my own place and I'm very lucky to have a nice place even though it doesn't have exactly the finishings I would like. Like I would really like if this was a granite or a marble countertop. I don't love the color. I actually kind of want to go to um, Home Hardware and what day is it today? Sunday? But I kind of want to go to Home Hardware and pick up some like stick on tiles and do like a backsplash, like a, like a peel and stick backsplash and make it, just make it like a little bit prettier, you know? So that's something I'm kind of toying around with. I have tried to put that marble sticky stuff on here before and it did not work it was a massive fail um so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna embrace it but putting a little backsplash in there would be would be kind of nice because even like even having my skincare like out it's not super aesthetic you know what i mean like it's organized and it's clean and it's all kept in one place which is good but it's not super aesthetic because the skincare is all different colors and you've got like green and you've got orange and just like preferably everything would be one color that's my preference but and it just doesn't work for me to keep my skincare in a drawer because if it's all in a drawer which it has been before I forget that I have certain things and I forget to use certain things I have a pretty good routine like morning and night but I just still prefer all my stuff sitting out 
on the on the countertop so yeah that's just the way it's going to be for now and eventually one day i will have you know kind of the house of my dreams and i will have what i want which really for me i just really want that beautiful marble or like granite like vanity countertop um that would be just amazing but in the meantime i'm still like super happy to have what i have i just wanted to give you guys a look at the home office right now before i put the bookshelf in before i set it up and tell you as well why it is so bare because i have had this set up like really nicely before as a quote-unquote home office and basically my daughter first of all she needed a desk for school she needed it more than i needed it and she wanted it for like a makeup vanity so at first i gave her my desk and chair but then i realized i needed a place to work like i don't like just sitting at the kitchen table doing work because it hurts my back and i just don't i wanted to have like a designated office area obviously so then i went and got her her own desk her own chair took mine back i had also given her my bookshelf because she needed a bookshelf so i gave her the white bookshelf that was in here so now i need a replacement so i was like you know what it's okay i just have to accept the fact that i just needed a new bookshelf and maybe it was time to just change things up a little bit so right now there's literally nothing in here I have my printer on the floor, which a lot of people ask me what printer it is. I don't know why, but it's honestly just super cheap HP. Got it from Staples. Um, it was like $80. Works like a charm, you guys. So yeah, if you see this one, it is a good one. I like it. It has been working great for me. Um, nothing on the walls at the moment. Haven't decided what kind of decor I want. I do have a calendar. I put up this calendar. It is for 2024. It's January because I want to get really organized. And I used to always use a day planner. I used to use a day planner all the time. And then I started just using my phone as a day planner because my phone has a calendar in it. And then I stopped using a paper planner. But I just really love using paper planners. And I also like the idea of having a visual on the wall. Like I like the idea of sitting down at my desk and having a visual looking up and being able to see like okay this weekend my daughter has volleyball this weekend um this weekend I'm going out of town this weekend I need to get a video up or whatever the case is um just like a visual at a glance every day without having to physically open my phone and look at the at the calendar so that's kind of nice and so all I have right now is just this um white area rug which is small kind of almost would rather have a larger one but this one's okay for now my uh, computer laptop charger is down there this desk which i've had for a really long time and i think i got it from staples and it's just a marble desk with gold uh, gold legs it does have a little bit of storage underneath so i just have a notebook and then i have this little pencil case that I got from Staples the other day just to hold like highlighters and sharpies and stuff for when I'm journaling or when I'm planning things out and writing and then on top of the desk I have this little crystal container that is like a pen holder for my sharpie pens I love writing with these sharpie pens by the way you guys they're like a permanent marker pen but they're super skinny and I don't know why but my writing is very very neat when I use this and then I also have just a notebook here that I just got the other day of course it's marble as well and this is just for whatever I'm I'm forever writing things down whether it's to-do lists ideas plans something I'm always writing stuff down so notebooks are something I always have to have and then I also got this 2023 2024 planner from Staples as well and I like it because it will start right now today sunday the 8th and goes all the way to june next year so yeah i'm really going to make an effort to start like planning in an actual planner again versus just on my phone because i just really want to get organized so yeah so that's all that's in here right now and then just this chair and yeah i really like that chair i got it from uh home sense for like a hundred bucks last year and it is a very very comfortable chair i think it's faux leather and it's really cushiony it swivels you can higher it and lower it um, according to what you like and yeah my goal for today is to get this shelf set up and make this room feel functional again and welcoming because right now it's very bare and very open and my voice is echoing and it is not welcoming or functional at the moment um i just need to pretty it up a little bit and i also want to have the printer off the floor and i want to put like a couple pieces of decor on it a couple co couple coffee table books maybe a candle i also ordered a vase from amazon i don't know when it's going to be here but i thought i might put that on there as well and then on this wall all i have is this 
um, picture that says, have a mind that is open to everything and attached to nothing. I've had this for a really long time. I only have it up because there's holes in the wall that I want to hide. <laughs> so I don't even know if I really want that on the wall anymore. Ideally, I would find some sort of really pretty contemporary art to put there, but I also want to keep the room totally neutral. I want it to be totally all neutral colors, beige, cream, white, gray, and metallics pretty much is the goal. So I'm really hungry though. I think I have to stop and eat and then I'll continue on. All right, so I'm going to have a little bit of coffee, just regular French press coffee. I already made a latte earlier today and I have had more than enough caffeine already. <laughs> and I love my lattes, but the espresso is very, very strong and too much caffeine for me. And then my heart starts doing funny things and I start to feel really anxious and it's just not a vibe. So, and then I'm also going to have some rice cake and banana and peanut butter and uh, just like chill, watch a little bit of YouTube, I think. And then I will unpack that shelf and we will get building. All right, guys, I finished eating. Now it's time to bring up that bookshelf and put it together. Believe it or not, I'm actually, if I may say so myself, I'm quite a whiz at putting things together. I have assembled every piece of furniture that's in my house, <laughs> my bed, all my bookshelves, my table downstairs, well, everything, everything that comes into this house. So I like, I'm getting pretty good at it. part about putting anything together honestly is like getting oriented to what is the front what's the back and like where the holes are supposed to be once you figure that out you kind of can just go ham so I think I got it oriented I'm pretty sure that this is the top of the shelf symmetrical that's where the back plate is going to be this is the bottom of the shelf again symmetrical this is where the front plate is going to be these are all my D's, I'm a quadruple D. And uh, this one here with the funny looking with the holes, the only one with holes I believe is the, what is that one? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, actually I don't know what that one is. I don't know, we're gonna get it sorted out. Let's just start with step one. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna start with step one. We're gonna put our quadruple D's in between our sides. Yeah, let's do it. So that was actually very easy to put together. Um, it only took me like 10, 15 minutes. And it just occurred to me that the printer is probably gonna be too big for the bottom shelf. Um, yeah, the printer is probably going to be like sitting over the edge of the shelf. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. Um, I could always remove the bottom plate, like I could remove this thing 
so that the printer has more room in the back. I'm not sure. But in any case, whatever, I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Even if I like have the printer door closed, at least, you know, it might look a little funny. I hope it doesn't. The alternative is I could bring back the other shelf in here that I gave to my daughter and give her this one. Sorry guys, technical difficulties. I don't know why we weren't focusing there. Um, so yeah, the shelves are a little bit more shallow than I anticipated. I still think it is a really nice shelf and I actually think it's going to be the perfect one for this space, provided the printer doesn't look absolutely ridiculous sitting on the bottom. Because yeah, the printer is quite a lot wider than the the bottom of the shelf so whatever let's just try it and see and you know if I still have to get a separate some kind of a little white like a, a really tiny white thing to put the printer on or even put the printer beside it that might be okay no matter what I needed a shelf in here so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up and then we can take a better look at it So this is the bookshelf, but the other issue that I just noticed with this that I did not notice before, and I'm thinking I might have to just take the back panel off, like the back panels. I don't know if that would look worse, but the bookshelf is blocking the electrical outlet. Like if I push it up against the wall where I want it, which is right up against this wall, it literally blocks the electrical outlet. <laughs> so and this is the ideal spot. Like this is where I wanted the bookshelf. So the other alternative I could do is I could actually remove the back panel. It would be very easy to do. It's just screwed in there. So I could take off this back panel so that there's room for the printer. I could take off this back panel so it doesn't block the electrical outlet. It's just that, is that going to look bad? You know what I mean? Because it's meant to have a back panel. And aside from that, it looks perfectly fine. The alternative is I could put the printer on this side of the desk. I could get some sort of a little something here, put the printer there um, so that the printer is beside me. And then I could just use this shelf as a shelf for other stuff. I'm not sure what to do. And the printer, I'm pretty sure, is not going to fit on the bottom. I'm going to try it. Okay, so the printer actually doesn't look terrible on it. It kind of does look a little bit ridiculous. I thought it was going to be bigger. I honestly, I should have measured, but it just looked like it was going to be bigger, you know? Um, yeah. Darn it. Okay, well, I mean, it doesn't look awful. No matter what shelf I use, the printer always sticks out a little bit. But, oh my gosh, I'm lightheaded. <laughs> So I'm not sure what to do about that. I feel like the bookshelf is very nice, but perhaps not big enough, you know? And the one I had in here was plenty big enough. It was like the perfect size. It was almost even too big. Um, but the trouble is my daughter has that in her room now and she loves it. And I feel like she'd be really upset with me if I switched them out now. The other thing I'm not loving, they don't have the little caps to hide the the screws unless those are still in the box and I missed them somewhere but from the front it's a beautiful beautiful shelf it's a really nice shelf you know um yeah I'm really not sure what to do about this you guys I think I'm going to turn the camera off for a bit play around a little bit and then I will tell you at the end what I came up with because I'm kind of at a standstill like and I can't think when I'm filming so Hey guys, so it's a couple, about an hour later, and I've been doing a lot of organizing and figuring out what the heck I'm doing. And yeah, at the end of the day, I just decided to trade bookshelves with my daughter because I needed a bigger one. So I guess I'm stuck with this one for a while. And this is not my favorite bookshelf. I don't like that it is asymmetrical. Um, I wish it was just a straight up and down, but for now it's going to have to work. Uh, what I like about it is that it's big, it's spacious, it has a lot of room to store things that I might need to store, um, and it's white, so it goes with the decor. 
So I was kind of playing around with a few things that I had around the home. To be honest, you guys, I'm really moving away from the whole pink thing. I much prefer the like neutral beige contemporary sort of modern minimalist look. Um, but I don't have any other decorations at the moment. I'm going to have to wait until I eventually go like to home sense or something. And I'll have to maybe switch out a couple of things. Like honestly, these pink flowers, I'm so over them. I've had them for a really long time. They're beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them, but I'm just kind of really tired of them. I'm tired of the pink, but they do look pretty. And also this Dior book is too pink for me, but again, it is pretty. So I'm just going to use it for now. Also my day planner so happens to be pink. So I guess it kind of ties things in a little bit. Also, it's too early to have a marshmallow fireside candle out, but it was the only like not too Christmassy candle that I have in my storage in my closet. I also do have a pumpkin marshmallow, but this one, this one I liked the way it looked better sitting on the, on the shelf. And then I just took this bowl here that I have from H&M Home that I really like to put trinkets in and like um, pretty makeup and hair clips and stuff. And I just put it there cause I just needed something on that shelf. And then on the shelf below I have, um, paper, spare paper for the printer. This is historically when I had this shelf in here before, this is historically where I always kept my print, um, my printer paper. And then, yeah, the printer lo and behold actually pretty much fits on the bottom shelf, which is amazing. And it doesn't block the power outlet. <laughs> so this is just going to be the best solution for now. I'm sure my daughter, when she gets home is going to be kind of cranky that I switched out her shelf, but Hey, it's a free shelf, right? Mom paid for it. So what are you going to do? And if you're wondering what that black thing on the wall is beside the shelf, it's actually my vision board. I just turned it around because as you know, you should never reveal your dreams and your ambitions and your innermost um, manifestation goals and stuff like that to the world. You should always keep those things to yourself. So I don't share them um, obviously on this channel, but my vision board has a pretty um, like gold slash light brown frame. And it's actually very, very pretty. My vision board is um, pretty much the same colors as everything else that you see here. And it actually looks quite nice sitting on the wall. If I keep it there, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it there or not. Um, I just pulled it out just because I've always kept it there and it is kind of nice to see it in the morning when you're sitting down and like working and checking emails and stuff. It's nice to have something, something nice on the wall there to look at. Um, yeah. And then the desk area. So all I have on the desk area right now, I was going to keep my microphone. I have the Yeti microphone. I was going to keep it out here just for ease of access, but I felt that it looked cluttered and I don't want the desk space to be cluttered. I cannot function when things are cluttered. I like to sit down, I like to have my coffee. I need things to be organized. I need it to be clean and clear and clutter free. That's the only way that I can actually focus on stuff. I don't like to have a busy work area. Um, so I just have my laptop here. Here. my phone is here right now I have this thing for pens although actually I'm tempted to put the pen like just put the pens down there and get rid of the pen holder altogether I think I might do that because I prefer the look of having the desk area the work area totally free and clear with like nothing on it so I actually might just take these pens and just put them down here there's lots of room down there. That's where I've always kept my pens. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. It just looks better. And then on the desk, I just have another one of those beautiful glasses, those aesthetic water glasses, and then just a coaster that I brought up from downstairs and my what's left of my afternoon coffee, which by the way, it's like 4 p.m. I think, and it feels like it feels like it should be earlier in the day, but also it feels like it's a lot later in the day. I don't know, it's really weird. But so that is the the office space. That is the office space. This was actually a lot of work and I'm actually pretty tired and I still have other things I need to do today. I need to go on the treadmill. Um, I need to unpack those pajamas that I got from Amazon and try them on. I might try them on and show you guys what they look like in case you're interested because I kind of want to try them on right now and just get that out of the way. And um, yeah, then I'm going to like, yeah, just exercise, have a bath tonight, have a little me time. It's actually a really productive day. I got a lot done. I'm pretty proud of myself. And also I'm like fairly happy with the space here in the office. Besides, I'm kind of annoyed with the flowers, but see if I can find something a little more, a little less pink. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like kind of over the pink stuff. You guys like, I don't know. But anyways, the other crappy thing is that my candle, um, I have to be careful if I burn it because I don't want, I don't want the flames to like be too hot. 
for underneath there, but I think it should be okay if I watch the flame and just make sure it doesn't get too big. Yeah, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with the way the office turned out. Let's try on the pajamas. Again, the glasses, they're just, they're so good, right? They're so good. Actually, one thing I ordered from Amazon was a vase for flowers that looks like this, except it's a vase. So actually that might be really good to have on here once I, once I get it. Yeah, so I'm really excited to get that. All right, let's try on these pajamas and let's hope that they are nice. With Amazon, sometimes it's hit and miss with pajamas, I've noticed. Sometimes they're great and it's kind of the same thing with like Zara, H&M, like sometimes you get really good stuff, other times it's a bomb, so is a bomb the bombs at the thing i don't know bombs whatever okay let's try this on okay so they actually look like they might have potential and they look like they're going to be the right size they're kind of a champagne -y, not champagne they're more of a silvery white they're a very cool white so and they're from a pretty popular clothing brand on amazon called Eck hour i think that's how you say it i've actually been sent clothing from this company before um to try and they have some okay stuff so i'm going to try them on they have like an elasticized waistband and the ends are not tapered they're just like a normal like straight leg and then they have buttons and a pocket and they do not have a lapel like so sometimes I prefer a lapel, sometimes I don't. I actually have a pair of pajamas coming from Amazon, not Amazon, um, H&M that are linen pajamas. I'm really excited to get them, but they do have like the collar. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see how those look, but let's go ahead and try these on and uh, see, because I just, I really want like some satin pajamas to actually sleep in. All right, this is the satin pajamas. Not bad, you guys, really. The elastic is a little bit tight around the waist. Like I wonder if that will stretch out over time. But, and the top is kind of long, but I knew it was going to be long. Um, like you could pretty much almost just sleep in, just sleep in this shirt and just forget about the pants, I guess. Um, it is really comfortable. It's really silky. This is tucked in. I feel like that looks better, but you shouldn't have to fuss around so much with your pajamas, you know? Like they should just be super comfortable. I feel like they're, I feel like they're really long on me. Like the shirt is really long. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know how I feel about them, to be honest. What do you think? I mean, they're fine. They're fine, but I don't know. Like, they look nice from here, right? The only thing I'm not sure about, like I say, is this elastic is kind of annoying. It's, um, I wish that these were a drawstring, not elastic. So I don't think that they're the best quality. Definitely not the best quality out there, but for $45 on Amazon, what do you, what do you expect? All right, so the pajamas, I guess I'll have to see wait and see. I just feel like they, I feel like they look really like, maybe I just need to steam them. Yeah. What do you think? Would you keep them? I feel like they look a little weird and you know what? The elastic is really bothering my waist. So yeah, sadly the pajamas I think are going to go back. So you guys, that was it for today's video. So I think it was a pretty good productive day. I honestly was so tired by the end of the day. I didn't even end up going on the treadmill or doing any cardio because I sometimes forget how much cardio it is actually going up and down my stairs all day at home and cleaning and it's a lot of work like I never I pretty much never have a day where I just sit so yeah by the end of the day I was super tired and I just decided to treat myself to some ice cream and then have a nice bubble bath and drink my bubbly drink and just enjoy my time and not to put too much pressure on myself so thank you guys so much for spending the day with me I think that it was a really productive good day even though the pajamas were a bust at the end of the day I was pretty happy with how the office looked and I got the house clean and it felt like a really good kind of a preparation preparation day for the weeks to come and I feel definitely more organized going into the rest of October so thanks so much for being here today guys I'll see you all very soon in my next one bye for now